Hi, this is David Davis from Train Signal. And this is Eli Kinesa for Train Signal. And we're here at VMworld 2011 in Las Vegas, and this is a huge day for us because this is the launch of our brand new vSphere 5 video training course. So, uh, Eli, why don't you tell me about the course? What, what was your favorite lesson in the course? Um, my favorite lesson has got to be auto deploy for a couple of reasons. First of all, it took, uh, it took quite a bit for me to get it to work. <laughs> so we took all the, the trouble out of you guys figuring out um, how to get auto deploy to work. So I think it's a great lesson. What was your, yours? Um, I'm super excited to watch auto deploy, by the way. I haven't got to watch it yet, but I know it's like a really oh, long I'm nervous. Lesson. He's going to criticize. <laughs> but uh, my favorite lesson that I created was uh, actually the last lesson, the bonus lesson I threw in at the end because it was really fun and had a great cool factor, and that's administering vSphere 5 using the iPad. Oh, I'm going to have to watch that one. <laughs> and by the way, that's the lesson that we're posting today for free. It's the complete lesson um, that anyone can watch. Oh, know, so I, I see how that. this works. We're posting his free lesson. <laughs> so uh, let's see, other lessons we did. I did um, administering vSphere using the new vSphere 5 web client. I did installing uh, vCenter the, using the Linux space, the server appliance, um, storage DRS. Uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah, policy driven storage. Um, of course, I uh, re re remade a lot of the, the lessons that we had previously, like yeah. using distributed resource scheduler, uh, network I.O. control, storage I.O. control, but, but I always made sure to add in, you know, like what's new what's in vSphere 5. Yeah. So, what cool. were some of the ones that you did? Uh, I did some monster lessons for the, for the storage one. Make sure you get a really nice cup of coffee, a big one, because <laughs> it was really long. Uh, I did the virtual networking, the, the vSphere distributed switch. Um, high availability. So there's uh, some, some really cool lessons um, in, in this video. I'm really excited about it, actually. So David, how long do current VCPs have uh, to take the VCP5 exam before having to retake the class? Well, if they're a current VCP4, they can upgrade to VCP5 just by taking the VCP5 exam. But they have until February 29th in 2012 to take that VCP5 exam without having to take a, a new VMware education course. So that's one of the benefits, I mean, to doing it sooner rather than later for VCPs. So make sure you get the course quick enough so you can pass the cert quick enough. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So it's available here at the VMworld Bookstore. Um, and then it's also available online for anyone to purchase over at trainsignal.com. And uh, I look forward to creating more courses with you. Absolutely, Eli. me too. It was a lot of fun. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you.